This is tutorial 2-2 from the GIS Tutorial 1 uh, book. We're on page 58, and the title of this tutorial is Creating Point and Polygon Maps Using Quantitative Attributes. Step number one is to open a map, which I have already opened. And I think we're going to be working mostly on the 48 states here, so I'm just going to take my zoom tool and zoom in on that so it's a little bit bigger. And the second thing we need to do is save the document as tutorial 2-2. So let's go save as. And I have navigated to my GIS folder. And we're going to save that with the same name. Now we're at the bottom of page 58. And we want to go to the Table of Contents and right-click on U.S. Counties and go to Properties. And from there, we want to go to the Symbology tab, which controls what the counties will look like. And in the Show panel, we want Quantities, Graduated Colors. So this is the Show panel over here. We want Quantities, and we want Graduated Colors. And the value that we want to represent with this color is vacant. We've got a vacant 0, 0 there. Let's check to see if we have another vacant value that's just plain old vacant. And there it is. Then we're at the top of page 59. We want a color ramp, which is... Um, a gradual change of colors from one color to another and we want the black to white one there's a whole bunch of them here and we want let me see white to black this one is black to white let's see if we can find a white to black one down here somewhere and there it is so it's going to appear in, our counties are going to appear in basically in shades of gray. And we're going to have five different shades of gray, which you can see down here. And what decides which category they fall into is determined by this classification box up here. And we're going to click on classify. And then we've got some choices. And we want um, quantile. and five classes which should be the default and then we want to click on OK. So if we do quantiles it should break it up into five equal uh, equal numbers and click on OK and now we want to click label and format labels and that's just a regular left click not a right click and we want to format the labels as numeric, which we have. Uh, number of decimal places over here should be zero. And select the checkbox beside show thousands separators. So we want our commas in there. And then we are now on the top of page 60. And click on OK. And click on OK. And the map that you see now should be identical to the map at the top of page 60. Now we're on the bottom of page 60. What we're going to do here is we're going to change the size of the red dots for this to represent the cities so that a larger city is represented by a larger dot. So in the table of contents, we want to change the symbology for U.S. cities. So right click on this, go to properties, and again we're going to go to the symbology tab. And in the show panel, what we're going to show is um, quantities. And we're going to choose graduated symbols. And we want population 2007 as the field value. So right now we've got nothing. So pop 2007. Then click the symbol selector button under template, which would be right here. And the one we want is Circle 2 with Mars red as the color. So Circle 2 has a border around it. Circle, you know, the ones that end in 1 up here do not have a border. So we want Circle 2 
and the color we want is Mars red, which I think is the brightest red right here. Click OK. Now we're on number five. Click the classify button. Again, we're going to choose quantile. Five is the number of classes and click on OK. Then we want to go to the label column heading here and click on it. Again, we want to choose Format Labels, and we want to choose Numeric. Again, we want zero for the number of decimal places. We want to turn on Show Thousands Separators, and click on OK, and click on OK. Now, if we look over here at New York City, for example, we should see a large dot. Um, we're going to see some large dots. Houston is a large dot. Chicago is a large dot. Uh, Los Angeles and so on. And it says to save it at the bottom of page 61. So let's go do file and save. And that is the end of tutorial 2-2.